Hello everybody and welcome back to another video in our introduction to blue teaming track. So today we're going to continue, if you haven't watched the last video, uh, watch it so you're up to speed on our introduction to blue teaming. Although this challenge is kind of a little bit uh, different from that one so it's not required to have viewed this. But today's challenge is Event Horizon. It's the second challenge uh, in this series and the description goes, our CEO's computer was compromised in a phishing attack. The attackers took care to clear the PowerShell logs so we don't know what they executed. Can you help us? Well, sure we can. So if we look at what we get, so we get this trace format folder which is empty and we get this logs folder which contains a lot of dot evtx files. Now what are evtx files? They are Microsoft Event Viewer logs. So these are kind of logs, application logs uh, that Microsoft, that Windows uh, collects and we can view them and we can see there's a lot of them. So which ones are we going to look at? Well we can already see these ones with 68 kilobytes. They are probably not going to contain anything so let's sort by size and let's pick out some interesting ones here. So first of all, uh, system data archiver, not really interesting. PowerShell operational is interesting though, because this has 5,000 kilobytes. However, it said they cleared the PowerShell logs. So that's definitely interesting. So we're going to open that. Then security is also interesting, uh, just to see what we can find there, because security is going to lock all things that have to do with security. And if our systems have been compromised, then that means that some kind of privilege escalation or some kind of uh, escalation has to have happened pretty much. So these two are the most interesting. So we're going to open these in our event viewer here in Windows. So uh, let's first of all start with our PowerShell logs here. So we have the PowerShell operational log. So this logs uh, all things to do with PowerShell when something uh, goes wrong. For example, if we look at this first warning here, we see uh, we have an error message. Let's zoom in here. We have an error message because uh, invoke mimicats was called and, uh, well, that has been blocked by our antivirus, probably uh, Windows Defender. So, yeah, that, that kind of logs. Uh, we don't have uh, logs about actual, like, every command, only the ones that errored out, I suppose. And if we look at these information logs, we see that all of these are kind of not interesting. Only the warning ones are interesting, so let's actually filter this. So we can filter this by going to filter current log and let's say we only want... Uh, warnings, criticals, and errors. Okay, we see we have a whole lot of warnings here. So let's start with the first one and, and work our way upwards uh, through time, through what happened. So the first one we see, uh, this seems to be uh, creating a script block text. Uh, so the next 35 events are all for this uh, single one. And it seems that we are uh, uploading power up or the attacker is uploading power up to the box. I'm going to zoom in a bit. Uh, so what is power up? Well, it says it right here. It's kind of a, a, a grouping of all kinds of commands that can help with uh, privilege escalation in Windows uh, that rely on miscon misconfiguration. So if something is misconfigured, uh, power up can most likely find it and help us uh, privilege escalate. So that, that, there it is already. We found something is being uploaded that, uh, that could help in privilege escalation for our attacker, which is not good. Um, if it's scroll down, we also find the flag in here, uh, blue team forever. Uh, but for this video, I'm going to keep going and kind of walk through everything that the attacker did or everything that we as a blue team can see that the attacker did and then kind of work out a plan of what happened here. So, okay, we, all of these next ones are still uploading that. Then uh, this one, is again doing the same thing, so we can scroll past that as well. And then here we see another error, and we see that we have a context, and the context is uh, this host application. This is so. This is where did we get this uh, shell from? How how did we get the shell? And we get we got this, or the attacker got the shell by running PowerShell dash EP, which stands for Execution Policy uh, Bypass. So this is something that you'll commonly see uh, and do as well as a red teamer. So the, the uh, EP, the execution policy, is kind of the setting that determines which type of power sh PowerShell scripts can be run on the system. By setting this to bypass, we can pretty much run uh, all kinds of PowerShell scripts. So this is uh, very useful. 
uh, to know about. So then we have dash C, so we're going to run a command when we spawn this PowerShell, and we're going to run uh, IEX, which is invoke expression. We are going to download uh, this file from uh, GIST GitHub user, user content. Uh, okay, it's a .txt file. So we're going to run this .txt file, which I don't know if that will work or not. Um, also, this link doesn't go anywhere, so you can uh, find it, but it's, it doesn't exist anymore, so it's slightly removed. Um, but then after that, we have a semicolon, so a next command, and then we're going to do we're going, going to do invoke all checks. Uh, and invoke all checks is a part of PowerUp that we saw being imported earlier. And invoke all checks is pretty much going to run through all the different kinds of uh, privilege escalations that there are in PowerShell implemented, and it's going to see, okay, is this one, uh, does this one work, does this one work, does this one work, uh, and so on. But well, we obviously don't, we don't have a output of any commands, we only have the command itself, and then the error that occurred. So we don't know what the output was, but we know that this user is act actively looking to uh, privilege escalate and see how they can do that. All right, so the question now is, can we find out how this user escalated? So the next couple are the same. And now we have a different one here. So again, our PowerShell. Uh, okay, we're downloading from a different string here. We're downloading from this PS1 here, and we're executing that. Uh, again, from GitHub, uh, from my GIST on GitHub. Uh, and this file name, if you uh, use that in uh, Cyberchef here, you'll also see it's base64 for the flag as well. So that's another way to get the flag. But okay, that doesn't really tell us much. We just know a PowerShell script was ran. If we keep on going, you see there's more PowerShell scripts. Uh, the same one is being run multiple times. Uh, okay, we see this error at Mimic gets. So running that has been blocked. So okay, that's it for the PowerShell log. So what do we know right now? The user got access to the computer and is trying to privilege escalate. We don't really know if that has worked yet. We don't really uh, know that, but we still have the security logs. So then lastly, to close out this video, we're gonna look at the security logs. And here we see uh, this logon log, which has an account was successfully logged on. And we see that the subject, uh, when PTF, PHF, uh, this user impersonated system uh, anti authority, so got an administrator logged in as, as administrator through impersonation. Now, impersonation, um, if you want to see that on my website, I have done this a couple of times myself. So, in the imposter video from CyberSec Labs, uh, in the potato video, and in the toast video, I've impersonated and the authority or another user. So, if you want to see how that works, go to my website link below and search for impersonation. So, that is what they actually did to become anti authority system. So, they likely found that it was possible through PowerUp, and actually, you can impersonate tokens through PowerUp, uh, I believe. So, they most likely used that to become anti authority. Uh, and then we see next up also that well they logged in and they got all of these new privileges so pretty much every pr privilege through that so quick recap our user got in to the system through a phishing attack because that's what the description of this challenge told us after that phishing attack they uh, executed power up to find out if they could pr uh, escalate privileges uh, they ran all the checks and they found out, okay, yeah, we can. We can impersonate a user. We can impersonate anti authority. So that's what they did. And that's how they, how they became an admin. So now we've kind of from not even having the exact logs, but just like some error messages and some security event logs, we were able to kind of backtrack what this attacker did. And this is something that's very useful for blue teamers because obviously you're not always going to have all the information. Sometimes you're, the attackers are going to be smart. They are going to be removing information that you would normally use but luckily Windows has a lot of logging and a lot of ways for you to still kind of figure out the most likely path that the attacker took. So that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you back for another one. Take care. Goodbye.